Hey, welcome back to that show, Bill's name is Jerome. Um, episode, um, I think, on things that have been going on, which is pretty cool, actually. Um, I haven't really been building stuff, but I have been building a little bit of financial room to do things, because I was kind of stuck. So, just get straight into it. Um, I will show you this bike. This bike I got in Germany a couple of weeks ago. Um, that was a Honda CX500, um, as you can see. Um, and that bike is no longer here. I uh, fixed it. Um, it didn't run. Tank was uh, dirty still. Uh, small maintenance parts on it, but I kept it really simple. I basically uh, got it from Germany and yeah, it didn't have any license, did have the title of course. So I fixed it up, cleaned it up, went to uh, just to make it look better. I did some work on the exhaust as well with the aluminum foil just to see how bad the corrosion was, stuff like that. Just basically make it look nice. And I actually got it to run. It didn't take me long. I put the um, carp in the ultrasonic cleaner and it ran. See what it does, I guess. Have we got choke? No, we haven't. Choke it a bit. So posted it on a website for sale. I didn't ask much for it because, yeah, I think that would be unfair. Um, and I sold it within a day, so that was nice. So I got some money from that. And two weeks later, I basically did the same thing. Got another one from Germany, another CX500. Uh, it looked really bad, really bad pictures, and I love those kinds. Um, picked it up from this guy. He was, yeah, sick, so that was really sad. Um, but yeah, got it. Got it to run. Posted on the internet as a uh, project bike. Um, and it ran really good. It was really, it was basically the same one as the Daily Rider. So with the um, NEC ignition and um, yeah, things like that. So I, it ran really good. Engine looked really nice. But I've got too many bikes, so uh, if I hadn't sold it, it would have been a really nice bike, but um, I've got too much here, so I sold that as well in like two or three days, I think. So that gave me some money to spend on certain bikes, one of which is this one. Now, I have a small issue with that. Uh, I hadn't seen that, which is pretty stupid, but as you can see, oh, I'll do that. There's a bolt still there in the exhaust. I hadn't seen it because it's black and I already put the engine in, so that's a bit of a bummer. As you can see, it's over there. And I totally missed it, so like, like there. Now that looks like it's already snapped off. So the previous owner probably had some problems with it as well. So I've got a problem with that. I think I'm gonna go and try cleaning it out as much as I can inside the frame and protect the frame, maybe weld a nut on this and then the heat from the welding hopefully loosens the bolt and with I can put like a wrench on it and try and see if I can loosen it if I can't then I may have to take off the top end which yeah it's a bummer I don't think it's that bad but it will set me back a long time ago but anyway that is just to make it run um, first off of course we need to Address this stuff. Um, yeah, 
I need to get into it was kind of figuring out what to do with the wiring, whether I should use the old stuff or put in new stuff to put in the uh, X21. Uh, where's the X21? Oh, it's in the box somewhere, because this is the old one. Anyway, so yeah, I was hoping to get this ready for the Scott Lamorta show, which is in two weeks time, so really close. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it because I haven't got a lot of time anymore. There is work, of course. Um, but I've got a few days coming up, so I may have some time to do that. I still like the look. Of course, there is a tank. Damage, um, and I got a lot of stuff for it. There's boxes everywhere here. Uh, so as you can see, I sent this off. Um, and they did a color coding and made a special paint for me. Uh, I got the blue one again, which I put on the frame as well. And I've got this, the respirator. So, so hey, Stat, um, I took your advice. And of course, I've got some filler uh, as well. And sanding paper, masking stuff, uh, these things to um, do the... Uh, the putty stuff thingy of all sorts so that is gonna go to see if we can fix the tank but yeah that's still a lot of work i'm gonna wait for summer until it's a bit warmer outside what else have i've got oh yeah i've got these cool lights these are gonna go on the daily rider i need to mount them on here and then it will give me a bit more light and it'll make me bigger on the road as well. I want to do those lights separately from the main headlight. Don't want to use any of these switches here. So I bought a different switch, uh, which is over here. Uh, that was nine euros plus shipping. So it'll sit over here. Uh, and I won't have to drill anywhere. And if I don't like it or if I ever sell it and somebody else doesn't like it, I can just remove it. The other thing I did on the daily ride is I switched the seat. So one of the bikes I had had a better seat than the one I already owned. Uh, it didn't have that nice trim over there and uh, leather was damaged on this side. And this one's actually completely perfect. So I swapped it over, um, put some grease or leather grease on it to treat it a bit. And it looks a lot nicer now, so um, that was a good thing to do. I got two of these, bought these, uh, also from Germany. And it came with a nice set of these, which look actually pretty good. But also it came with a complete one of these gauges. Got a new front end and something I was looking for, this little screen. So I took it off because I really wanted a screen on the rider just to make this bike more and more complete bit by bit. It's not something I think is overly pretty. I don't think the front end of the CX is very pretty standard, but this bike is coming around more and more original. It's looking better and better. And yeah, I really like riding it. So that was a nice thing to get. Now I focus my attention on this CX. It's been sitting here for a long time already. The frame is completely powder coated and I'm really reluctant to, to cut into it. So I wanted to keep this. If you ever want to put it back to original, then I still got that. But I've been thinking about what I'm going to do with it. And I've decided to make it. If you've seen the BJ at the Brickhouse Builds video on the C-axis, he's done several ones. There is a scrambler one um, for like a more adventure type bike. So I think that will be cool. So I've got a cafe racer, an original one, and something like a tracker scrambler type bike. So I decided to kind of use all his knowledge and his advice and stuff and tips and direction to do that to this CX. Kind of use the idea that BJ had and adopt it to more of the Dutch needs, I think. Anything else? Of course, I've still got my Suzuki. I just can't get around to doing it. Um, but that is that is it. Well, as always, I've got plenty of stuff to do. Um, lots to work on. I haven't got enough time. 
to do uh, a lot lately, but I did buy and sell those bikes and that helped out to get some cash uh, because yeah, the, at some point you need to buy stuff. So I'm lucky to have that opportunity now. I'm really looking forward for spring and that I can ride that daily rider a bit more. I still got a um, backpack for that. Like um, I have to change the back. I got like uh, suitcases on the back, on baggage cases. So uh, top and two at the side. So if I want to do like a trip, um, yeah, I've got enough places to uh, bring stuff along. Maybe do like a road trip at some point. Um, yeah, so pretty cool. Um, also did the um, charity thing where I sold that little ambulance thing. So that brought up like 300 euros. 150 euros went to uh, the relief funds for the earthquakes in Turkey. And the other one will go for the gentleman's ride, which is pretty soon. I'm doing a lot of stuff for that as well. Um, contacting people, helping me out. People are really kind uh, to selflessly help me. Um, I will make my own beer, that's an idea. And put that in a bottle, get a nice label on it um, and try and sell that and make a bit of profit from that. All proceeds will go straight to the Gentleman's Ride, which is on 23rd of May this year. And I'll be taking the Daily Rider, of course, riding on that. So I'm really looking forward to that. But two weeks time, we are going to the Scottish Motorcycle Show. That's going to be awesome. Um, lots of people will be there. I've mentioned this before. So I really hope you can make it if you're up in Scotland. Uh, YouTubers will be there as well. Uh, lots of mates, um, people we kind of got to know. And yeah, it's going to be like, I'm going to be there like four or five days in total. Um, I will see uh, John's Mushashi bike, uh, which is really cool that Ewan is building. Uh, BJ will be there for Brickhouse Builds, um, NWT Europe, so Al will be there, uh, Re Motorcycle, uh, yeah, so strewn is that, um, lots of people, and myself, of course. And so that's where I'm going to leave this video, I'm going to work on the Daily Rider, I think, make a video on the installing of this little thingy, and um, yeah, and then that's it for this video, alright, cheers. See you in Scotland.